Guys, so this is day two after my surgery of getting my plates and screws removed. Um, it's in the afternoon, about quarter past two, and I'm actually feeling quite good today. As you can see, I have swollen up a lot more than yesterday, um, but I slept okay. Um, my incision that he made under here to remove the screws obviously in this area um, isn't sore, it was really painful yesterday um, and in here just feels kind of tender um, like an intense bruising kind of feeling um, obviously the swelling doesn't feel that great um, I'm not sure if that's a bruise or if that's just um, some black eye, I don't know what that is but um, yesterday afternoon um, I did notice a bit of purpling around here but that seems to have subsided overnight um, so yeah it's, it's okay obviously definitely not as bad as the initial surgery obviously but it is still quite intense um, yesterday when I had the surgery he put me under uh, not a local anaesthetic not the one that puts you asleep sorry I'm tired I don't know what the name is he just gave me a drug but I actually did um, wake up a few times during the surgery um, I wasn't in pain I think it was just a bit of a shock to wake up and I had pointed to where my lure was in my arm for some more drugs because I think I woke up just as he was making the incision here and here and I could hear all the staff talking and um, but pain wise it wasn't too bad, it was just I could feel the pressure of the cutting and removing of screws and things. Um, I would say that when I came to and I had finished the surgery I had intense pain here, intense, like really intense pain. Um, so he gave me some more injections to put this area to sleep and that hurt. I know I said that yesterday in my video, I think. Um, but that was really, really painful, but it took about a couple of minutes for the injections to work and it completely made it all numb so I didn't feel anything. Um, I, I had a lot of blood, like I was saying yesterday, and um, I can remember putting some gauze, those like um, material things to stop the bleeding. I put them under here. And that was a big mistake. It hurt so bad that I think I went, in, I went into a shock. I um, wanted to vomit. I was in so much pain that I just um, started hyperventilating. It was really, really excruciating. Um, I had to take the gauze out. But um, once I calmed down and I the feeling of wanting to be sick had gone. I didn't vomit or anything, but I was near it. Um, I was able to take some Padadol, um with some codeine, so that's been quite good. Um, I have antibiotics, I have, um, I'm actually at my house, but I have been staying with my mum, so all my pills are at my mum's place, because so I can't show you, but I just have antibiotics, um, Panadol with codeine in it. I also have Oxynorm, which is a Panadol form of morphine for night time. Uh, and I also have something for swelling. Um, I can't remember the name of it, sorry. It's just an anti-inflammatory, basically. And so with all those, I've been okay. Been able to handle it. So I'll show you my swelling. You can see it's quite swollen. Uh, definitely not as bad. I can open my mouth. Um, I can grip my teeth together. I bit into a little bit of chocolate yesterday. I can't be feeling that sick. But in the afternoon I felt like something sweet. And I was able to bite it. But I have just been eating like egg. Um, tonight I'll probably just have mashed potato and things like that. So just kind of soft food. I was able to have a milkshake and things like that. So it hasn't been really that bad. Um, sorry if I'm shaking my phone. I'm just going to try and grab... I have my screws. So I'll show you what some of them look like. Um, 
I'll just tip them out. So here's one. I think this is a plate where they put the screws in. It's very small. I don't know if you can see that. So that's one. They're kind of all funny shapes. And where I'm holding it is just another little hole. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, it's kind of like a funny shape. And then I was actually quite surprised. And then here's another one. This was a real funny shape. It's like got a bend in it. I don't know if you can actually see the bend. Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand, so it's very hard. But it's actually got a curve in it. Don't ask me where they were. I don't know where blocks in the jaw they were. But um, I've got the screws. The screws are actually tiny. It's going to be really hard to show you. They are really small. I'm so sorry if you can't see that very well. It's honestly hard to hold with one hand. They are really tiny. Um, they feel so much bigger in your face. Like I was picturing them to be massive. Here is another one, but it's got gunk on it. <laughs> Some bone on it. They did wash them for me, but obviously they can't wash it that good. Oh, they're so small. Like honestly, I was expecting them to be huge because they feel huge in your face. Look, look how little that is. I can't even. So tiny. It's crazy to think that these are so tiny. I'm just looking at the pile that I've got here to show you. Um, but yeah, all the screws are really tiny. It is crazy. I actually want to count. I should have done this before, shouldn't I? Um, how many screws? So there's like, I don't even know what you'd call these plates. Are they plates? I don't know. There's like <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six plates. Six of those funny looking things. And then I probably have like, oh, I can't even count them. I'll write it in the description there. Get out. I've got my dog there. I don't want to eat them. But yeah, I'll count them and I'll write them in the box down below so you know how many screws they actually had but they are so tiny like you can't even see that one honestly they felt massive in my face I look like a wimp now that I know how tiny they are but they just don't feel that tiny I don't know why but yeah but you can see them all sitting there quite a lot all of that was in my face. So, um, they did sell feel a lot more better without them in there. So I'm kind of glad I got it done. Um, it wasn't the nicest experience. I think the actual initial surgery, <laughs> that wasn't nice either. But I mean, the first two nights after my surgery, I was on um, morphine, a morphine drip that I could push the button for. And, I mean, I was in hospital, so I was... Um, I had everything that I needed, but I went home probably half an hour after my surgery yesterday, and your yeah, body's still going through shock. The blood is the worst. I would recommend not eating or drinking anything. I mean, you can have some water, but if blood, if you swallow that blood and it hits your stomach, you you can vomit. So I probably took about four or five hours of just sitting over a bucket, letting all the blood come out. Um, before I had anything to eat or to or to drink really, um, so that's the only advice that I can give. Uh, it's not that bad today. Day two, I've been able to talk. I had an omelette for breakfast, so yeah, I know I look um, oily again. It's probably from the swelling. I don't normally have too bad of an oily skin, but. I think these are just shadows because I'm not in very good lighting. But anyway, I'm blabbing. So if you do have any questions, feel free to ask them because I don't know what else to talk about. Um, so yeah, I will do another update tomorrow. Alright, bye.